In the end of this episode, I'm gonna tell you the meaning of life. Until then, you just need to watch. In this episode, I'm sad leaving Grenoble. To to I visit Cokes in France. You will for sure never visit this place. I shave on the road. I hike for four hours. And I visit aviation museum. I was thinking to get myself warm. I have established my first rule on this journey, and it is don't pee around your car, it stings. I don't know if you have noticed, but I have rebranded my channel. I moved on from Polar Express to call my channel Need to Explore. I really hope that this change of the name, uh, this channel, might appeal to wider audience. It is kind of funny to leave a place uh, after 10 days, because I got to know this place so well. I'm kind of, you know, I was explaining to you what's up in Grenoble and now I have to leave it. And it is sad. I feel sad. But I need to move on. Now I need to decide where to go. Mitch, the guy who I met the other day, he recommended me to go uh, here, because this is one of the most beautiful places he ever seen. It's a little bit outside of Nice, and if I take this route here, then maybe I'm coming to Monaco and Nice in 3-4 um, days, maybe, maybe longer. On the other hand, it is really okay leaving uh, Grenoble, because it is unusual weather for, uh, for a season, and in Grenoble it might actually snow in, uh, in the end of November. I was talking to a guy today and he asked what uh, my channel is called on uh, YouTube and you know what, it was so much easier to say need to explore instead of Polar Express which people just do not get, people from outside northern areas they just don't get it so need to explore a lot simpler I am happy, I am pleased accident in Germany you can buy a soup like this they are amazingly tasty and good and cost like one euro I just stopped in a town called Cokes it looks like it is like kind of old town I don't know yet because I like you know passing the streets in the dark this is just perfect when you don't want to make anything I know you like this. Oh yeah. Today I did 140 kilometers and now it is evening and time to go to sleep. Tomorrow I'm going to explore uh, Koyuks and then I'm going to go further towards Tunis. Good night. Last Saturday I was at La Bastille in Grenoble and now I'm at this quiet place. Okay, let's go exploring. You will for sure never visit this place unless you know about this. But Cokes seems to be amazing. Small streets, stone houses. It's like going back in time. Around here it is the smell of the new washed clothes and uh, uh, some good prepared food. It's really strange with the narrow streets how intense it can get. Flowers. Some places smells nice. And sometimes you get this smell of the 
Raw Wet Stone. <laughs> Studying architecture, you definitely should visit one of those places. How they are built from the ground and up. It looks like a man built mountain. You don't need a lot of stuff living in apartments and houses like this. You just need good food and good wine. Here. I feel like modernity I lived in is far away. But it's time to move on. I was planning to go further, and, but so I drove like 500 meters and there is a town called uh, Privas and then, then I just gonna to stay here. The... This don't have to cook too long, but it smells fantastic. This is rain repellent. It improves your view in the rain. Here is what it does. Look at this, look. You are so beautiful, my car. And you will take me very far. Good night. Another day in paradise, good morning. We are gonna to move on and see some landscapes. Look at this town over there, I think I'm going to check it out. Let's go exploring! In front of us is Vulcan de Andans, is a sleeping volcano, 552 meters above the sea level. So, Vincent de Perez, we are moving on. Set from the studios, film studios. How cool is that? I will be stopping here for the evening. It is in a town called Rocha Maur. It is outside Monte Monte Limar. Um, I, I don't seem to move much, and the reason is just I see so much stuff I want to see, and during the day I do two, two to three stops. Yeah. Need to explore. Start my day today with a four hours walk uh, around uh, a path uh, on the top of uh, Ruche Maur. At the first sight, it looks like old ruins and no people living here, but it's not true. This is actually a little village. Let's go exploring.
tried to switch. In the middle of the forest. Ooh. <laughs> here and realize one thing if I will be doing this traveling in Europe in 20 years and after 20 years you search after one place to visit my videos will always pop up that is one of my goals from now on after four hours of walking and a lot of it uphill I am exhausted oh. let's let's have a coffee uh, and go down to the city. This has been a great day. I've been hiking for many kilometers and thank you for watching. Remember to subscribe to this channel. Good night. We're going into Montelimar so I can find a library or stuff I can upload the next episode and I am really trying hard to find a LPG station to find my uh, to fill up my propane. Sometimes I'm just forget that this thing is open and then I drive and it starts to flap and I like okay I am now at the aviation museum in Montelimar and I am excited. I love it. I was thinking to get myself one for my car. Was the Concorde? At least my generation died. Concorde was the first supersonic plane to go from France over to the US. It was a really fine piece of French engineering, but I guess it was just too expensive to run. It is kind of intimidating and exciting to know that every one of those planes have been in action. This is MiG-23, a plane capable of reaching 2,500 kilometers an hour in 1973. And now my visit at museum is over. I went on my original course and now I am in Cicero on my way to La Palude sur Verdun. Uh, this is the place Mitch uh, recommend, uh, recommend me to visit and I'm uh, going over there. Ah, oh yeah, it was this thing about the meaning of life. The meaning of life is to remember that everybody poops.